Hi, it's Sarah Jane and I'm gonna make it short today. I just wanted to wish you a beautiful Friday and um, and a great full moon. There is such beautiful energy right now out there and um, all you have to do is reach out and touch it because everything that you need is right there for you. And I, I was wondering about this with this whole thing around niching and nesting on the call last night in the shadow dancing class um, I, I was just so thrilled that the the amazing brave women that had joined me inside they were really starting to see that everywhere where they'd actually thought they they were looking at their talents as weaknesses so the ability to to be to to really support somebody and and see them even when they can't see those aspects of themselves and and how empowering it was to actually watch them step into their into their gifts and um are you nibbling me are you nibbling me and 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 to just claim it to put their stake in and actually say you know what um this is what i'm here to do and i don't know what it might look like yet but i'm i'm gonna explore it and see and see what that that wants to to come through me as and i hear so many people you know say that you know they're they're this or they're that and they're identifying their worth based on their modalities or based on on their training or that you know that they've come into this world as one thing and and I used to have a real problem with that when I used to look at you know who am I here to serve and and what is my niche and who are my people and what and what is my tribe look like and and what are their pain points so that I can support them in in living happy fulfilled life beyond trauma beyond the stories beyond the broken record of what they've been told they need to be in order to fit in and if there is one thing that I can give you today it is to to look to your woundings to look at what what have you come through what have you actually endured as you know a horse knows that it's it's a horse and it knows how to endure but what have you what have you actually lived to tell the story about um, what have you come through on the other end better and stronger and wiser because of your trials and tribulations and your challenges and 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 who's looking for that who's in the place that you're in that that may be looking for for you and 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 what only you have because you have you've endured you've come through it and and you have something valuable to share with people and and what could that look like for you to actually let go of the the sense of identity and thinking that it has to be just one thing and and to look to your look to your core woundings to look to, to look to your greatest pains and your greatest endurances um i have a, i have my beautiful friend here saying yeah you know what get on with it already what 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 are you waiting for um don't wait don't wait any longer look to your wounds see what it is that you've come here here to be and what what makes you you feel filled up and alive and and just fill yourself with that aliveness from a place of knowing that you have everything that you need you don't need a degree you don't need a phd um you don't need to define yourself by by what what this reality tells you you have to be in order to be worth something um you know nature tells us that all the time a horse doesn't try to be anything else than 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 a beautiful horse he doesn't sit there with a longing wanting to be something else he just knows that he's come into this beautiful powerful body to be the best best horse he can possibly be he doesn't sit there yearning to be something that he's not or trying to be a rabbit or a giraffe um, he just owns all of his magnificence and and I want you to just own your magnificence. Step into that space that's longing for you to come back to, back to your heart, back to, back to who you you came here to be, and stop buying into this illusion that you have to stay in your shadows. Um, you know, we need a shadow to tell us that we actually exist in our physical bodies, and and the sooner that you actually embrace that, and you you look to the parts that you're absolutely afraid of claiming and owning 
the sooner the rest of the world gets to actually receive your gifts and your talents and your story is only you can tell it because nobody's lived your life nobody's had your experiences so stop trying to niche stop trying to put yourself into a box stop trying to contract and fit into norms and social mores and moralities and the way to do business that it has to look a certain way and start trusting your intuition follow your gut and and let your animal your beautiful body show you what that could look like for you um, beyond any social constructs or constraints stop holding yourself back and look to your wounds look to your to what you've come through to what you've endured and and tell your story because that's what the world's waiting for it's not waiting for you to be a strategist or a something that's definable that makes you valuable just be yourself tell your story and stop messing around trying to wait until you have the degree or wait until somebody endorses you or tells you that you're brilliant own your brilliant claim your stake in the ground and go from there just take one small step and see where you land and then another and another and respond respond to that let your let your body tell you where where you need to be and 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 feel the pull feel the pull just as this horse is 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 feeling the pull that it's dinner time and I'm gonna stop talking and feed her um, feed yourself it's the inside job you can't be something to other people until you actually claim that that you matter and that you have something valuable to share with the world and it comes through recognizing that your wealth your mastery your value is in being you so I'll leave it at that um, take care have a beautiful weekend and I will speak to you soon lots of love bye